Alright, welcome to my how-to guide on how to clean the filter on a Hoover Mixture Series washing machine. Now, it isn't actually obvious on this at all where the filter is located. So, what you need to do is locate the this pl plastic kick strip at the bottom of the machine. Just grab both sides like this, put two fingers on and just pull towards you. There we are. And then revealed is this. Now what you're going to need is get a baking tray. It's quite a large baking tray. But as you can see, it neatly fits underneath the filter. And then all you need to do is slowly twist. And pull. You only got to twist it about a quarter of a way. And then pull. And twist it slightly again just to get it out fully. If you're struggling to get it off, you can actually um, get a small flathead screwdriver and unscrew this. This just takes that pl this plastic bit out, and then you should be able to just leave just leave that bit in to drain it, and then you can like fiddle about with it. Just get a towel, small towel like this. Just quickly give it a wipe inside. As we can see from what come out, that's come out, and believe it or not, that's come out of. Uh, I've had this machine. I repaired it. I had a new pump put on, and, uh, and so basically, when I was put the pump on, and that was drained, and in that time, that has come through. That's in two weeks. I've done two weeks worth of laundry in this, and that's come through. So that's what. That's how quickly things can get clogged inside. Over a period of time, lots of things can get clogged inside. Remember, always check your pockets, but of course, some little things like this is enough to um, escape out of the pockets and down the thumbs here. What you want to try and do though is obviously remove them all, because even if, if they get down here, you're lucky. If they stay inside the drum, they can create damage uh, to the outer plastic tub, which means you get leaks, or um, indeed onto the actual stainless steel drum itself, or break the heater. So you don't want to actually have things going through your washing machine. Anyway, that's off now. I'm giving it a bit of a clean. Uh, this is already clean, because I've already cleaned it once. Um, it wasn't even that gunked up anyway. But generally you get your lint caught up within here and here. Just move that, give it a bit of a clean, and you just simply have to replace it back. So now what you want to do is replace this kick strip. You've got uh, three lugs. One there, one there, and one there. What you want to do is position them, and then rotate and push. And that's it, that is how to clean your coin trap on your Hoover Nexture Series washing machine. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video very useful.